I just moved. So, uh, since we talk about money, how you feel when you made the first million dollars and what you spent it on? Man, I ain't touched the money. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I'm still, I'm still using my, I'm still using my hustle money from, <laughs> from my rap hustle money from, from not signing the deal. Okay. Yeah, when they gave me my, I ain't gonna lie. When I, when I first, when I first got that money, bro, when they hit my account, I was in California. I mm -hmm. was at the, I was at the record label. I was with, you know, I signed a Motown. So, the uh, my A and R, I think my A and R tech, no, my uh, the lady Miss Tracy from Universal. She had it emailed me. She said, you should have something in your account. And when it hit, well, I was like, ooh. So I kept checking every day to make sure it's real because I thought it was real. But, man, it, but after getting that money, it just make you more money hungry. Like, mm -hmm. for me, I'm a hustler. I know some they get money and just go through it. For me, once I got the money, I just was trying to figure out ways to make more money. Yeah. So I started investing money. I, I done threw back like a hundred and something K in one investment. Like, Mm -hmm. Really going out, going out on a limb, like you know. So it just having money make you. It like you still get to go through real life, you know, depression. It don't fix all the problems. It don't fix all the problems. Yeah. But I tell you, they already have rich problems and broke problems. Yeah. It's a difference. You know? So, so you would say money bring happiness? Hell yeah, the most happiness I ever had. Uh huh. But like. It fixed stuff, but it don't fix everything deep down inside. Like it, it might fix by eighty percent of it, but yeah, yeah. What I say it don't fix everything. Like cause you can deal with stuff with family, you know, probably problems with your baby mamas, mm -hmm. whatever. It don't fix everything, you know. what I'm saying you still have to try to find happiness within the earth itself. Yeah, but having that money to find it can pay. It can, it's like a bed aid. Yeah. Like, if you got a lit sword, you can put a lit band aid on it and get it right. But imagine having that sword with no band aid. Mm -hmm. And it just get irritated and irritated. Yeah, no alcohol, no A and D won't to put on it. Yeah. That that money, that like an A and D won't be in the band aid. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, I mean, I ain't lying. It, it, it's, it's, it's that when you can wake up in the morning and not have to worry about. Because. The average American live check to check. Yeah. You gotta go get up and work for somebody to get that next check to pay their rent. Pay the bill, then like you get paid like that Friday. I'll yeah, you, you, you back in the You same back in that like four, five hundred dollar limit for the weekend. Yeah. Everybody wanna like they so rich now. Mm -hmm. Everybody got four, five hundred dollars to play with every week. Yeah. I I've been there. Yeah, I've been there. That's what I yeah, you know what I'm saying? I used to make uh -huh. I used to make twenty five to thirty dollars an hour working the plant. Yeah. And it still was a week to week basis. Mm -hmm. You can run on a turnaround and run it up. That's cool, but you already know the turnaround ain't finna last forever. Uh -huh. So when they shut that, when they turn around, shut down, you back to living that late three, four hundred dollars of spending mm -hmm. living a week. That's why I'm out. I drive trucks, and I already know. So you, you already know what I'm saying. Yeah, go, like go, go around there like each week. Yeah. That's the thing. That's how we. It's like I know the average American still living that way to this day. Mm -hmm. The 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 joy of waking up and not giving a fuck about. Nobody got going on. Just sit there. I go to the, I go to the gym every single day. Yeah. And I after I leave the gym, I come home and do whatever the, whatever the hell I please. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's different. And I can spend whatever and buy whatever. Mm -hmm. It's different, like versus being stuck in that. Oh, I gotta go make some money for the pay the next mm -hmm. bill. You don't got to live no more. Just do what you want to do. Yep. <laughs> like, we live with it. We don't give a Like, we just live it. Like, go buy the Maybachs. Go buy the whatever we, we just do it. Like, it's different. I ain't gonna lie. But I, I always dreamed of this. I ain't never mm -hmm. wanted to live another life. I never wanted to be no nine to five worker. I ain't never really want to. I just want to do whatever I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the comfort of being, getting that money. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you still got to be disciplined. And you still gotta work your ass off. Yeah. But it's a different type of work when you're doing what you love to do. You love to do. Yeah, I can go to the studio for eight hours straight, no food. Mm -hmm. Leave the studio, go straight to the to the concert, go do meeting greets, go do whatever. Radio I can I can do this all day long and never feel like I'm working. Mm -hmm. Versus waking up in the morning, putting on that hard hat, 
putting on them tilt, them all them boots. You know? And see, that's the thing, like, when you working, you know you got to get up there. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, wow, you know you got to <sighs> get up. Like, you can't call out, you call out, that's going to Man, I be, having, I be having nightmares sometimes, thinking that I'm back in that <laughs> situation. I be like, what happened, what happened? <laughs> uh, and I wake up like, oh, I'm straight. Uh-huh. Yeah, I be, I hate it. I ain't going to lie. I, I, I apply to everybody who wake up and go get it. Cause if I had to, I would, and I did when I had to. Yeah. But I just always been a boss nigga. I, I like, I, 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 I came up from hustling. Mm -hmm. But my plug went to, like, my plug went to the feds in 2010, and I told myself, God, if you spam me through this right here, I, I straighten up. And so I gave up my hustling days. Uh -huh. Like, I came from hustling from 1998. To 2010, I ain't never did, I ain't never sold nothing since that day. Mm -hmm. I like God is because my like I like I knew it was for the I knew it was for, it was gonna go down and like my plug he this went got caught on conspiracy. They ain't in the kitchen with the like phones. Yeah. Yeah. But I had been telling him for like a whole year stop with the phones. Mm -hmm. He like this you know in 2010 we don't really know about no iPhones really fresh to us, so yeah. they sending pictures of the crazy stuff. I'm like, hey, get off them phones. Mm -hmm. Oh man, we good, they can't trace nothing. And then he called, me, like, hey, watch yourself, cause they, they just hit me, my mom and my brother for conspiracy. I'm about to go do four, my brother about to do 10, my mom about to do two. And I'm like, ooh, I got traces with this. But I, 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 I covered my tracks so good when I used to be in the game, so mm -hmm. I ain't you know, had nothing. Really trace back to me, but you know, you never know. Yeah. And when I went scots free on that, I was like, I gotta clean it up. So I called my uh, you no, know, my, 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 my partner called me, like, hey, I gotta let it play for you. Uh, come, 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 I let me. So I had like a little, I was in the trap with like a little pee. Mm -hmm. I gave it to my cousin, like, hey, dude, you can give me something back on this bitch. I ain't even driven. You ain't wanna know, you want out of the game. I ain't wanna. With it. I was like, look, he called me, I'm out some man, the police got behind me, I had to throw it. I'm like, you lying. It's all good. I know mm -hmm. you lying. <laughs> you were lying? Yeah, he was lying. Mm -hmm. Everybody police get behind you, you had to throw a pee and you couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. Man, people would have found that pee and found you too. Yeah. <laughs> so I know he lied too. It's all good. He can have it. But I ended up using that plug to go get it like in the plants and stuff and started making like a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So I just gave up the hustling, but I just kept rapping. But Got to the point where I was like, I don't like this either. So I just start trapping out the studio. Yeah. We got the studio, start doing the studio stuff, making the money from the rapping, selling whatever. I sell you a verse. I sell you. A, I I used to write. I used to make music. I used to make money writing music too. Yeah. I used to go to Miami for like two, three weeks at a time writing for artists, making money that way. You know what I'm saying? So I always kept a hustle mm -hmm. with that music though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never stopped doing. It. Then one day it all came and played for me. So.